So as a Nigerian living in Nigeria, <laughs> I can relate. So if you're in Nigeria living in Nigeria, even if you're in Nigeria in diaspora, okay, maybe this video is not particularly, but if you're in Nigeria living in Nigeria, this video is for you. So everybody literally as long as you're in Nigeria, but most especially for those who live in Nigeria, this video is for you, my darling. Okay. So today I'm not here to talk about what's happening in this nation or what is not happening because I know <laughs> I know that you know what is happening in our nation. We all know we're not blind, right? So we know we see it in the news, we know what's happening. But that's not the point of this video, okay? This video is for a different cause, okay? As a Nigerian living in Nigeria, you will have to survive, okay? You will have to survive. And that is why in the spirit of Independence Day, I'm here, I'm here to do this video for you guys. And not just that, okay? Happy new month. It's a new month. Happy, happy, happy new month. And I'm going to be reading from the book of um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. You know, we always have an anchor scripture on this channel and it says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways lord help us turn from their wicked ways they have to have, they have to be a turning then would i hear from heaven and will forgive your sin and will heal their land there are so many verses that talk about praying for leaders, praying for the nations. I will leave them in my description box or I'll write them on the screen for you guys. But yeah, that is our anchor scripture as always. And just sit down and relax as we dive right into the business of today. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> you welcome back my beautiful Osas tribe you know on this channel we film about faith we film about wellness self-development and of course lifestyle all in christ jesus and i'm here to tell you the do's and don'ts you don't want to you don't want to things you need to do and things you don't need to do in this country in nigeria so before i give my point number one one thing i like about nigerians is that nigerians will always survive like they have this survival instinct like you just like it's just there is there okay like nigerians will do everything to survive and that's why i'm really proud like we're very strong people like everything will happen to break us but look at us we just keep moving like even in tough situations okay so yeah i've just i just need to see that like nigerians you are strong you are brave and i mean you guys are just super human beings if you ask me because being a nigerian living in nigeria this is for you because it is not easy trust me it is but we thank god for god so yeah the thing you don't want to do as a nigerian living in nigeria the first point is stop using curse words like as a nigerian living in nigeria like stop using curse words stop speaking negative things over nigeria yeah i know this part i'm saying it doesn't look possible and it looks a bit difficult and it looks like, how do you mean? Listen, are you, are you serious? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I kid you not. I know it's not easy. Let me tell you the truth. Myself that I'm talking to you guys, I've given up on this country more than 100 times. But the same me that I give up on them will still encourage myself to not give up on them. I don't know if you hear what I'm trying to say. What I mean by stop using negative words is, as long as you are here, please, as much as possible. I know it might not be easy. Try not to confess negative things. I've heard people say things like, Nigeria no go ever better. Yes, I've heard people say that. I've heard people say, ah, we're not going to survive for this country. I've heard people say, ah, not just to die. Like, I've heard people say, we know, we can relate. This is fellow Nigerian talking to my fellow Nigerian. We can relate. And I understand where you're coming from because living in this country is a lot. So I can, I can understand because sometimes the pressure is hitting left, right, center. But please, as children of God, you know, our march be used to proclaim good things. I know trust me i understand but in this same country where things are hard people are making it people are making money people are living their best life in this same country and not just illegally because i know it's not just people are making genuine money they are living their best life serving god and living the best of their lives even in this country that we are in okay so i'm just trying to tell you that please just in the spirit of independence i know this might be a lot and please this green is coincidental trust me <laughs> in the spirit of independence and since you're in nigeria living in nigeria please i beg you try to be positive speak positive words for your own self because the truth is you might not change the whole country you probably cannot obviously but 
you can speak those words you want to see you can speak those things you want to see so i'm just here to beg you that you should try as much as possible even if it's difficult even if it's hard sometimes try as much as possible to speak positive words only it is not as easy as it, as it is or as i'm saying it but it's just something you have to be deliberate about see myself that i'm talking there's some days where I, i'm so pissed i am so pissed that i'm like what is happening in this country like what like Nigeria just went from but i still try my best even when i see some things that are not good i'm not going to come here to justify it because we're all on this table so i'm not here to justify it but i'll say oh, maybe i always see the positive things every time but all i'm trying to say is that even when i see those words that are not really positive in the spirit of maybe in the mood of maybe i saw something and you know just triggered my emotion i'm like ah, ah this country so I, I might see something that is not positive but i will also be to retrace my and say ah god please have mercy on us so just save us i'll just use my say i'll still use my mouth and still pronounce blessings and good things over my life over my family over people that's close to me okay in this country so please as much as possible avoid curse words avoid being on the negative side stop saying negative things negative things every time because the more you speak it let me tell you the truth is whether you say positive things or you say negative things it doesn't really change much but the truth is that when you say positive things they say it actually do much it may not do much for the whole nation but it will do much for you yes that's the truth so as much as possible because even the negative things we've been seeing has it done anything like let's be honest even if you break from even if you shout you will from now to tomorrow your shouting will not really do much in a nation like this so as much as possible please just try and stay positive okay please i beg it then second thing you should do okay second thing you should do as a citizen of this country is pray ah i can't even emphasize the place of prayer okay pray 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 as our uncle's people say just keep praying because i know you might say ah bless you we pray for this nation we've all been praying no? we've all been praying see i can't even we've been praying even on independence day we held a prayer meeting we prayed so we prayed we've been praying the point is prayers and investment i am sure that whatever we're praying god is hearing our prayer our prayers is not falling into a basket no 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 god is falling into a bowl and god is listening to our every prayer and i know that in due season hmm, this country will be great again but my point is please just keep praying for the nation keep praying for the leaders that god will use these same leaders to favor you and your family favor you and your loved ones trust me see if you read so many stories in the bible which i don't want to really go deep into you see that even in hard times even in places where it doesn't look as if these people are going to find favor god favored them god favored them like you can read many stories like i'll just try and leave references if i can but if you read many stories by me, you see how things are working up for people even in lands in places where you are like this people will not survive so my point is just pray your prayer might not you might think your prayer is not doing anything but it's covering you and your family see i can't count how many times that i've been god has saved me from a lot of things some of you travel and come back safely you go up and down see it's a lot it's a lot of testing it's a lot of things to be grateful for in this it's a lot of things to be grateful for in this country so please keep praying keep praying keep praying keep praying for this nation okay i we complain a lot about this nation and we you know but please let's stay you know by the spirit of praying for the nation okay so please pray for this nation pray for yourself pray for your family as i said before people are making millions in this country trust people are living their best life oh, hmm. people are living their best life in this nation nigeria okay so as much as possible please try and pray okay and lastly before i leave because i said this video is a very quick one avoid too much news and social media i'm not saying that you should not um go on social media and just you know but don't avoid too much bad news honestly i know some of you say it's not possible sometimes the bad news will just come and meet you some of you actually go to look for those news that will just trigger a lot of emotions and stuff like that and please avoid too much 
too much news. Every time you're on the news, you're looking for the next thing that happened in this country. Breathe, though. Breathe. Live. <laughs> breathe. Try and breathe. I know it's not easy. I know. I know sometimes. But please. Try and breathe. Okay. Try and avoid too much. Too much. Too much news. 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 That will just make your, you know, just breathe and just trust God. Okay. That's just all I came here to tell you guys today. In the spirit of independence, your girl had to come here to do something for you guys. Just encourage you guys. Okay? I hope that you find a message from what I'm saying. Please and please, let's try and pray, trust God, and just be on the positive side, okay? Be on the positive side. And I pray for our nation. In the spirit of independence, as you know, I pray for our nation that God will heal our land. God will bless our nations. God will help our leaders to do what is right. God will help every individual because, you know, change begins with each and every one of us, okay? Sometimes we we try to blame this person, blame that person, blame this, blame that. But I believe one thing, that change actually starts with us, okay? So for us to actually see change, it actually starts with us as individuals, okay? In the little place where you find yourself be a light, okay? Because some people are even toxic to other people. Sometimes that market woman is not the whole Nigeria. That market woman, yeah, by that market woman, you're buying something from. She's not the whole Nigeria. You get what I'm trying to say? So if we can be nice in our various places, wherever God has placed us, if you can try to show the light, I think that's a good way to start to make this place a better place. Yes, to make this country a better place to live in. It starts with you and I. And one more thing before I go. For all our Japarians, Japarians, it's a very good thing. But all I want to say is that make sure that God is leading you. Okay, as long as God is leading you, that's perfectly fine. Okay, you can be you, okay? But make sure God is ordering your step. Make sure God is leading you. Make sure you have something you want to go do there. You're not just going there aimlessly. You get the gist. I know you guys know this by now, okay? I just need to cheat that in a little bit before I go. So, I pray that God will help us. God will lead us. And I know that I pray for each and every one of you watching me. You will never fall victim of any circumstance. The Lord will keep you and keep your family. The Lord will keep everything that concerns you, okay? And I ask that even in times like this, that God will continue to uphold us, okay? And yeah. That is all for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. I hope it blessed you in one way or the other. And um, let me know your comments. Let me know anything you have to say about this country in the comment section. I pray God will continue to help us. I love you all. And I will definitely see you in my next video. Bye.